Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionaris, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our biochemistry playlist. Today we'll talk about biotin thiamine responsive basal ganglia disease, a very rare, very ugly disease. So let's get started. In the previous video, we have hinted about this disease. The previous video was called thiamine metabolism dysfunction syndromes. Today's topic is one of these two syndromes. As you know from previous lectures, vitamins are essential molecules. Your body cannot make them, therefore you have to eat them in your diet. What are the essential molecules? Vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, and essential amino acids. Vitamins. The name came from vital amines. That's a freaking wrong name. It's or they are organic molecules, micronutrients, essential, water-soluble, and fat-soluble. The v B vitamins are water soluble and today's topic is b1 which is thiamine as well as b7 which is biotin to know more about antivitamins please watch my previous videos let's review the vitamin b complex b1 is thiamine b2 riboflavin b3 niacin b5 pantothenic acid b6 pyridoxin b7 biotin b9 folate b12 cobalamin Thiamine sources liver, eggs, cereal, wheat and rice as long as they are non-refined, also known as whole grain, brewer's yeast, meats, nuts, etc. White and rice are normally brownish, but in manufacturing they refine them, producing white rice and white bread. These are deficient in thiamine. Sometimes they fortify it or enrich it with thiamine to prevent thiamine deficiency in the population. Thiamine is not a co-pilot, but a co-factor in biochemical reaction producing ATP, such as the dehydrogenases. What is dehydrogenase reactions? Basically decarboxylation and conjugation. You remove the carboxyl group and you add, you conjugate with coenzyme A. Thiamine is a co-factor in all of these reactions. Till the end of January, you can get 60% discount towards my antibiotics course. Please use the promo code antibiotic60. The website is medicosisperfectionalis.com. I promise you will love it. Normally, we have these two genes, SLC19A2, which encodes for a thiamine transporter, another gene called SLC19A3, which encodes for another thiamine transporter. The pathology in today's topic, which is thiamine metabolism dysfunction syndrome type 2, also known as biotin thiamine responsive basal ganglia disease, is that we do not have this SLC19A3. It's There is a mutation there. Therefore, we will have a defective thiamine transporter. Therefore, we'll have symptoms such as episodic encephalopathy, dystonia, seizure, ataxia, etc., etc., etc. How do you treat it? It's called biotin and thiamine responsive. So give thiamine, which is B1, and give biotin, which is B7, usually lifelong therapy. Biotin thiamine responsive basal ganglia disease, a very rare genetic disease that affects the nervous system. It's autosomal recessive. When you hear the word autosomal recessive, think of consanguineous families. The typical age of presentation is 3 to 10 years. Mutation in the SLC19A3, as you know, defective thiamine transporter and therefore episodic encephalopathy. Any autosomal diseases like this. Mommy and daddy are carriers. Statistically speaking, if they have four kids, the first one will be completely normal. The second and the third will be carriers. So they carry the disease, but they do not show symptoms. The fourth kid will have the disease. In this case, the disease is the biotin thiamine responsive basal ganglia disease. Who named these things? Let's have this exercise because it comes on the exam all the time. This is for an autosomal recessive disease. In this case, it's cystic fibrosis. Let's say, suppose that the carrier rate of cystic fibrosis in the community is 1 in every 25 people. Question number 1. If the carrier rate is 1 in 25, please calculate the prevalence of cystic fibrosis in the community. Since the carrier rate is 1 over 25, therefore the number of couples who are at risk of having the kid of cystic fibrosis, this is like probability. So, mommy is a carrier, daddy is a carrier, a couple, you multiply 1 over 25 for mommy, times 1 over 25 for daddy, you get 1 over 625, and this is called what? The number of couples who are at risk. Since this is an autosomal recessive disease, one out of every four kids will get the actual freaking disease. 
in this case, cystic fibrosis. Therefore, the prevalence is you get this one over 625 over, I'm sorry, multiplied by one over four, and you get one over 2,500. So out of every 2,500 persons in the community, only one will have cystic fibrosis disease. The question can come upside down or reversed. If the prevalence of cystic fibrosis in the community is 1 out of 2,500 people, calculate the carrier rate. Easy. You get 1 over 2,500 times not 1 over 4, but actually freaking 4, which happens to equal 4 over 2,500, which equals 1 over 625. This is the probability of a couple, like the couples, at risk. But actual carrier rate, not for a couple, but for a single individual, you get 1 over 625, and you square freaking root it. You get 1 over 25. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, medicosis schmeezy. Biotin thiamine responsive basal ganglia disease, rare genetic disease affects the nervous system, autosomal recessive, therefore consanguinity, therefore one over four of the offsprings will have the disease. Defective thiamine transporter, episodic encephalopathy with seizure, ataxia, dystonia, facial palsy, and dysphagia. Treatment early and lifelong ad administration of vitamin B1, which is thiamine, vitamin B7, which is biotin. Thank you so much for watching this freaking video. Please subscribe, hit the bell to get notified, and click on the join button to join the tribe. Follow me on all of these platforms. You can go to my website, medicosisperfectionals.com, to get my antibiotics course. If you want to tell me anything, just send me an email. Please support the channel on Patreon or PayPal. Thank you so much in advance. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.